Hello YouTubers out there, this is Jerry the Movies with the latest episode of Entertainment Pipeline. Today I'm just briefly going to talk about the Golden Globe Awards. Uh, what won and what didn't, uh, just some of them. And why I think 12 Years a Slave is not going to have any sort of shot at all at winning an Oscar. When the Oscars are announced and of course when they're telecast. So. First of all, the Golden Globes. Um, now, last year, as many of you probably know, the uh, directorial uh, efforts of Ben Affleck won him uh, an Oscar for Best Director and Best Picture, uh, I think Best Director too, at uh, the Golden Globes for Argo. And Argo went ahead and won Best Picture at the Academy Awards, although he did not win uh, Best Director. Now, um, this year, 12 Years a Slave won Best Picture for the uh, Golden Globes, uh, Best Drama. And um, there were a couple of other surprises. Leonardo DiCaprio won for Best Actor for Wolf of Wall Street, uh, beating Chiwetel Ejiofor, which is really, really something. So, um, now I didn't watch the entire show. I just really watched, I think, about the last hour. Um, only because awards, you know, after a while I get tired of them. The Oscars, I kind of make it a tradition to watch the entire thing. I think one year, maybe two years, I didn't watch the entire telecast or at all. I think it was a year uh, Julia Roberts won for Aaron Brockovich. Uh, not for that reason. I think that's a terrific movie, but that's uh, neither here or there. I was not available, I was working, so I couldn't watch it. But, um, but when the Oscars are going to be announced, I'm curious what's going to happen. Uh, first of all, I think 12 Years a Slave will certainly be nominated. And by the way, it is a fantastic film. It's a ripping, tough picture to watch. I believe the rumors out there, it is tough to watch. But it's about slavery, so of course it's, it's going to be a, a tough sell for anybody. But it uh, seems to have struck a chord with audiences and with critics. But will it strike a chord with the Academy Awards? So, it is a very tough film because it really deals with what the slaves were going through uh, on these plantations. Uh, the excessive whippings and uh, being beaten up and hung from trees mostly are the whippings, the torture that they have to suffer, uh, including uh, the uh, person in which uh, a real-life person, uh, Solomon Northrup, who wrote uh, the book back in the 1850s, and uh, this is his story. Um, he wasn't born a slave, like uh, some of them are, uh, were, rather, but he was an educated man who somehow fell into that trap. Uh, circus performers thought he would be good for, uh, because he played the, uh, the, the fiddle, uh, and they thought he would be a good act to uh, bring into their circus act. And it turns out, of course, that he uh, is being tricked and is... Uh, drinks a little too much, wakes up, and suddenly he's in some sort of a, a prison cell or a dungeon, and he's whipped and beaten and uh, sold as a slave. So, it's a it's a tough story, um, and it would be a tough sell. Now, having said that, it, it's really nothing like Django Unchained. Of course, Django Unchained, uh, I think, dealt with certain realities of slavery, but it's... Uh, Pretty much like what Spike Lee said, it's a Sergio Leone version of slavery. But the violence that occurs and happens, and uh, not often enough, but on occasion in Django Unchained, to real slaves is fairly vivid and uh, graphic, but not anywhere near what Twelve Years a Slave has. So Tarantino won the Best Screenwriter at the Oscars in uh, well, in 2013 for the year 2012. And uh, Christoph Waltz uh, walked away with uh, his second Oscar. Now, the reason I bring that up is I think that's about all that the Hollywood would want to deal with uh, when it comes to nominating and letting a film like 12 Years a Slave win. Their track history is not that great. First of all, at making films about slavery, number one. Number two, at nominating films about slavery, because... Uh, the last major film I can think of is Steven Spielberg's Amistad, which was pretty much, if, if I recall correctly, it was kind of shut out of the Oscars. It didn't win the damn thing. I don't even know what it was nominated for. I think Anthony Hopkins was nominated. Um, beyond that, I don't even remember 
what else did they had scored as a nomination. Uh, it might have been nominated for Best Picture, but I don't recall. And that was 1997. And then uh, before that, you had Glory from 1989, once again, uh, nominated for some Oscars. Denzel Washington won for uh, Best Supporting Actor. But now, 12 Years a Slave, this is not, a, there's no white person here to kind of lead the story. There's no protagonist. The, the protagonist is the slave. It's really from the point of view of a slave. And that can be a little bit tricky for Hollywood at this time, I think. Um, I don't think that it's going to win Best Picture. I could be wrong. I certainly would hope I'm wrong. I mean, I certainly would pick it. I think they're, they may lean towards American Hustle. Wolf of Wall Street will not win a damn thing. Uh, Leonardo might win, but somehow I think what's going to happen is Chiwetel Ejiofor will win Best Actor, and 12 Years a Slave will win nothing else besides that. Um, of course, it did win Best Drama at the Golden Globes, but that might be its best shot. But then again, I might be totally wrong, so who knows. It just seems to me that, for example, Argo that won last year, was a safe bet. Um, Hollywood sometimes goes for the safe bet when it picks a film for Best Picture. Not a film that necessarily angers you or makes you confront your own uh, issues uh, about morality and this and that and the other. Uh, whereas 12 Years a Slave is very confrontational, asks you to really look at what slavery was. And um, it's in your face. It had to be. It really had to be. Um, so, I don't think it's going to win Best Picture at the Academy Awards. But, again, I could be wrong. Uh, I've been probably more wrong than right, but that's just my prediction. It's kind of a gut feeling I had for a little while, because when American Hustle came out, all the talks sort of leaned toward American Hustle. Um, and uh, the film did win for the, uh, what was it, the Best Comedy or Musical, um, this much I can tell you is Wolf of Wall Street will not win a damn thing, so, although I think that would be wrong, but there are a lot of good choices this year, so who knows what will really happen, but I have a feeling 12 Years a Slave is going to be shut out completely. I like to think I'm wrong, I don't think I am. And that's really all i got to uh, say about that, and this is uh, Jerry the Movies, with your host as Entertainment Pipeline, signing off.